Hey guys, it's Steve. So today we're going to be doing some cherry Dr. Pepper pulled pork sliders with a homemade uh, red onion pickled slaw. And we're going to be cooking these up on the Rectech mini pellet grill. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I whip up a quick and easy uh, pickled red onion uh, topping for our pulled pork sliders here. Uh, if you look on the internet, there's various ways to do this. Some people use uh, apple cider vinegar like I'm doing. Uh, they may blend that with red wine vinegar or white vinegar and then you can kind of experiment with various ingredients but to keep it nice and simple I've got some of these medium size mason jars here and I've just sliced up some red onion and some jalapenos over here so we're just going to get these stuffed with the onion and jalapenos okay and you can just kind of see how i kind of um, mix the onions and the jalapenos here it doesn't really matter it's all going to mix up anyways and then all i do is you want to cover uh, go ahead and fill this up to the top just like that we'll do the same over here and that looks great and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take some table sugar and add a few tablespoons in each one, just like this. And then we're gonna cover these up and you wanna go, uh, make sure they sit in the fridge for at least 24 hours. And this is gonna uh, keep well in your fridge for at least a couple weeks, if not longer. And you can use these guys to top pretty much anything you wanna eat. So there you have it, we're all set. All right guys, I just threw about 18 pounds of Boston butts on the Rectech Mini. So the main thing I wanna show you here is just how much capacity you still have with the Mini version here of the Rectech. Um, these two butts are huge. You can, you, you can see here, I've got more room on the side. So you've got a ton of room uh, for some meat on this guy. So I've got this thing set to 225. Uh, I'm going to let these things cook overnight and uh, we're going to pick back up in the morning. So we'll see you then. All right, guys, it has been 11 hours exactly. I put these on at 830 last night. It's uh, 730 in the morning. Gorgeous morning out here. I've been uh, monitoring both of these butts with my eye grill too. Um, I actually got a link in the video description if you want to go check out my review of the eye grill too. It's a pretty sweet uh, Bluetooth wireless thermometer. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh my gosh, look at those things. Amazing looking bark on those. So, you know, you have two options here. You could just let these things keep cranking, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and foil them and throw them back on and get these up to about 195 and then we'll uh, let them rest. Okay, so for our cherry Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce, I'll have the ingredients up on the screen. You probably have most of this stuff in your pantry and fridge. So obviously uh, we've got one can of cherry Dr. Pepper here, some ketchup, chili powder, apple cider vinegar, molasses, brown sugar, some salt and pepper, and some cayenne pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up in my bowl. All right, then we've got our saucepan here. We're just gonna go ahead and add our sauce and I'm uh, gonna bring this up to a slight boil and then knock it back down to a simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. We want this to re reduce down to where it gets nice and thin. All right, so 30 minutes later, our sauce has thickened up nicely. I'm just gonna add it to a mason jar. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge because we're not eating until later on and let this to continue and thicken up. All right, so we let this rest a couple hours. We're gonna go ahead and take this out of the foil and just dump it into our large pan here. Look at that thing already just completely falling apart. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and pull the bone out there. And just like that, it just pulls straight out. That's when you know you've got a nice tender Boston butt. I'm using my meat rakes here, and this stuff is literally like butter. It's just falling straight apart. If you have some, the heavy duty, uh, like PVC gloves or something like that, you can just, dig into this with your hands it's still piping hot so i like using these meat rakes and that is a perfectly co uh, cooked boston butt on the rec tech so i'm going to go ahead and finish pulling this and then we'll build our sliders all right so i like to use a little pepperidge farm potato slider rolls these are so good for these little sliders and we're just going to take some of our pulled pork just like this and we're going to take some of our pickled 
uh, red onions and jalapenos just like this. Woo, man, that's good. And then we're just gonna drizzle some of our cherry Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce on top. And the idea here is you'd bring a whole plate of these um, out to, to serve up to your guests. Look at that right there. Look how good that looks. Let me go ahead and give this a little try. Oh my gosh. That is so good. I could eat a hundred of those probably. Flavor uh, profile, the uh, Dr. Pepper sauce just goes so good with the pork and the pickled red onions. You gotta try this out. I'm so stoked on this Rec Tech Mini, the way, it's, um, the way it cooked these butts. So check those guys out. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.